What's good, Triple FL members? And here we are another week. Let's go over last week's matchups. Last week, we had Thanos versus Brian's boss team. And Brian's boss, who's on the verge of being kicked out the league because of repeated lineup mistakes, had two people still on by in his lineup, which allowed Thanos to get the victory, 144 to 106. Thanos' leading score was Ronald Jones with 29, Higgins with 20, and Gallman with 18. Next up, we had Ebony versus Brian's team. That's Brian with an I. And Ebony took the victory, 114 to 108. Ebony's leading scores was Hines with 26, Lamar Jackson with 25, and Devontae Adams with 14. She could have had an extra eight points if she would have played the Los Angeles Rams defense who scored 15 rather than the New York Giants. Who plays the New York Giants defense? While Brian would have actually won the matchup if he would have played, if he would have played Phillip Rivers over Tannehill or the New Orleans defense over Seattle. Who plays Seattle's defense? Seattle's defense has been trash. William Black team continues to stump on everyone. And Fabian's team is the recipient this week with a beatdown of 144 to 84. This is definitely Fabian's last year in the league with repeated roster lineup violations. He is the walking bye week. Easy win for William Black. William Black's leading scores was Jacobs with 28. Herbert with 24, and Chubb, who came back and gave you the easy 19. Next up, we had Gerard's team versus Wheezy Lockdown, and Gerard gets the easy victory, 151 to 111. And the victory could have even been even worse. Gerard had two people that gave him a zero, a egg, diddly squat. A.J. Green and L. Sean Jeffrey combined for zero points in his lineup. And Gerard's leading scores was Kyler Murray with 31, Kamara with 30, and Myers who gave him 15. Next matchup, we had the GOAT versus Purple Pride. And the GOAT wins easily 131 to 74. Purple Pride, you should have some type of pride because you are becoming the walking by team number two and you playing all your players. Where's the talent? Your team look like they've been sucked the talent from a vampire. This is what happens when whenever you have a, a good player that's playing well and you just drop them because they're not playing well or because they're injured, you just drop them. You can't drop your stars. Put them out IR. Put them on your bench. Wait for them to play better. Message! The GOAT leading scores was Hopkins with 23, Diggs with 20, and Watson with 16. Next matchup, we have the Dark Knight versus Wine, and Wine gets a low scoring victory of 98 to 54. Dang, Ali, where did your team go? Ali did not have one player in his starting lineup to score over nine points. Not one player to score double digits? If you wanted to find the double digit scoring players, you had to look to his bench where he had Jeffrey sitting. You had Jeffrey sitting on your bench who gave him 18. Stafford gave him 30. And I can't say Wine team did much better, but he did get the victory because Brady scored most of his points. Brady scored 39 points, while no one else in his starting lineup scored any double digits. Oh, this was a horrible matchup. This was like two toddlers going at each other in the schoolyard. It was sad to watch. And shots goes out to William Black's team, who did get the biggest blowout of the week. He beat Fabian's team by 60 points. All right, let's go over next week's matchup. We got Thanos versus Wine, and Thanos is projected to win 134 to 113. 
Wine. Hey, if my team keeps showing up, you're out of there. Both of us six and four, and I can't afford to get out this playoff race, bro. Go ahead and fall on, fall on the sword and take that L for me. Next matchup, we have Ebony, who's two and eight, versus Brian's boss team. And Ebony is projected to win 127 to 109. And I'll, I will appreciate if you beat Brian. Go ahead and get all them six and four teams out the way. Make it easier for me. Next up, we have Fabian's team versus Brian's team. That's Brian with an I. And this is what I call the losers bowl because <laughs> Fabian is two and eight and Brian is four and six. Brian is projected to win 121 to 89 and it's definitely Brian is going to win this because Fabian is the walking five. This is to be a victory for everyone. This is the neighborhood hope that everyone wanted to go ahead and get a chance to smash. You call all your home is over. Look, she Next up, we got Gerard team versus William Black. And this is the match of the heavy hitters. Gerard teams who is eight and two and William Black team is nine and one. So we have the number one team going against the number one team. And William is projected to win 140 to 136. So it should be a close game. One to keep eyes on, maybe even a preview to the championship. Next up, we have Purple Pride versus Wheezy Lockdown, and both of these teams are projected to be out of the playoff. Purple Pride, one and nine, in last place, and Wheezy, who is three and seven, and ninth place, looks like Wheezy is projected to win 126 to 109. Keep hope alive for next season. Next up, we have the Dark Knight versus the GOAT. And the Dark Knight is projected to win 127 to 105. And Ali, I need you to go ahead and get this victory. The GOAT is one of those six and four teams that I need out the way. I need him eliminated. I want him gone. I want him dead. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want his house burnt to the ground. I want to go to the middle of the night. I want to push out of the And if we're looking at the standards right now, we have number one, William Black. Number two, Gerard. Number three, The Dark Knight. And from four to seventh place are all six and four teams fighting for a playoff position. Right now, the GOAT is at seven, looking outside. But at four, Thanos. Five, we got Wine. And six, we have Brian's big boss team. Good luck, fellas. See y'all next week. And as I say, there's no off-seasons for champions.